Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2018-19 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball 12 box. Pick your team number 10 from Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. This was the one that we sold out on Monday or Tuesday, but we had to wait until Thursday or Friday. Today's Thursday. We got the case in. There it is. And here we go. So on the 7th, pick your team 10. Ken Goldberg with multiple last spot mojos. Double last spot mojo? Oh, triple last spot mojo. So thanks to Ken. And thanks everybody for getting into the action. On a Thursday. So let's pop this open and let's see what we got, boys and girls. All right, a lot of basketball news happening today, folks. The trade deadline has come and gone. My Lakers do not have Anthony Davis. So I guess, I guess we'll have to, the saga, we'll have to wait until the summer. Now at this point, do the Pelicans even play Anthony Davis? They don't want him to get injured, right? They want to get, get a better draft position. I wouldn't play at this point, just sit him down the rest of the season. Marks, at a, you want to do a friendly wager tonight? No. <laughs> Lakers are terrible right now. They're in upheaval. Who knows what's happening with that team? That's going to be an awkward flight, right? LeBron has to talk, hang out with his teammates and being like, yeah, I tried to get all of you guys traded, but now let's get together and play some basketball against one of the best teams in the East. I think the Lakers are going to get smoked tonight. Although, no, I think I actually took the Lakers. I think I actually took the Lakers in uh, plus the points. Just because there was a lot of points. All right, there's the schedule in the chat right there, folks. Wait, who's calling Lonzo in L.A. to let them know they still care about him? Wait, Luke Walton's calling Lonzo? No, they're, they're in Boston right now. All, they're, all of those guys are together right now. Or is Lonzo not on the trip? Oh, he's not on the. I thought I thought he was traveling with the team. All right. Well, yeah. This guy's still here. This guy's still on the Lakers. Zubac is on the Clippers now, though, folks. Ivica Zubac on the Clippers. There's Jeff Green, red, and we'll uh, sleeve and top load these a little bit later before they get shipped out. Anthony Davis, still a Pelican. Do you even bother playing him? Don't know. There's LeBron. Let's see what he can do. Landry Sham, it's a clipper. There's Kemba. Kemba does not have... Uh, and there's Marvin Bagley, nice hot Marvin Bagley hollow. Kemba does not have Marc Gasol with him. Matt Whitaker in the house as well. Right, Nick Stalkus getting just bounced around. There's rated rookie autograph, Kyrie Thomas, Pistons. That'll go to John Samuelson. I like what the uh, I like what the Bucks did. Though getting getting uh, Miritich, I think was a very good deal. Which I think makes them even a more dangerous team. There's Kevin Knox for the Knicks at a 149. There's Dwight Howard. Does he still exist? Where is he now? Black Velocity to 39. There's Luka Doncic. Theodore, will there be any Panini 1 tonight? No. Unfortunately, it drops tomorrow. 
so we can't do it tonight, even if I wanted to. And there's Kyrie to 49. I want to do it tonight, but it doesn't drop until tomorrow. Kevin Durant just kind of melting down in front of the media, although it wasn't as good as uh, Marcus Alls in Toronto. There's James Harden. Mike Conley staying in Memphis to mentor Triple J. What about after midnight? I won't be here at midnight, Mark. I won't be here at midnight. Can't do Panini 1 there. I'm not on Eastern time. <laughs> Western time trumps East. All right, next box. Yeah, Matt Whitaker, who is a fan of the Pelicans, not happy with that uh, that Miritich trade. I think the Bucks got a pretty good deal there, Matt. Sorry. Now they'll be they'll be uh, no worries, Mark Math. Um, now they're all there'll also be the buyout market. I think will be very interesting. Aside from. Well, the Lakers did okay. I mean, aside from not getting Anthony Davis, which was a, which I thought was a kind of a longer shot in the first place, but they they made they made a couple good moves. Got a couple shooters around LeBron, which these are moves they should have done this summer, but better late than never. I think they'll be active in the buyout market, and we'll see what we can do there. And we just they just have to massage a lot of young millennial egos and try to try to convince them, hey, this. I mean. Hey, it is a learning experience. This is the business. They're going to be involved in those kind of trades. You still got to be a professional and play hard. So, so this young team will, this young team will learn, and hopefully band back together, and keep keep evolving as a as a player, as individuals, and as a team. Still young. A lot of young talent there. A lot of high ceilings. Just have to start getting there. Play more consistent basketball. Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, all those guys. All right, next box. All clear for takeoff. And the autograph already is Dominator Eric Gordon for the Rockets. Didn't the Rockets make a move? I forgot what they did. Rockets, John Samuelson with the Rockets. There's a lot going on, folks. 23 out of 45. All right, Pelicans get Stanley Johnson, Jason. We got, you got four second-round picks, though. Can do something with that. That's what I'm watching the starters on NBA TV right now. So a lot of basketball happening. Another Luka Doncic. Let's save a hollow Vincent Edwards. Well, the Lakers turned second round pick Svi Mahaliak. Turn it into a Reggie Bullock. There's Terrence Ross to 199. There's John Wall out of 149, injuring his, just destroying his Achilles at home. What happened there? There's got to be a story behind that, right? Deion Waiters to 99. The uh, Wizards were able to move Otto Porter. I thought they should they should have moved. They might as well just move uh, Bradley Beal, but it didn't happen. Oh, right. Houston got Shumpert. That's what it was. It'll take a minute or two to wrap my head around all the all the deals and remember where everyone ended up. There's J.R. Smith. Pink Velocity for the Cavs. That'll be for Ken Goldberg. There's DeMarcus. I mean, no one's going to stop this team anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. You're just setting up for the future. All right, next box. I was too. Mark Mark N saying I was impressed with a number of trades today. I thought it was going to be kind of a slow, a slower trade kind of window, but then, you know, I woke up in the morning and I was just like, oh, look, how, look at all this movement happening. So GMs were active.
So with with the Pelicans, and this is this is the story of the day, right? If the, with the Pelicans not trading Anthony Davis or not being impressed enough to trade Anthony Davis, that means they must have had some sort of assurances from Danny Ainge in Boston, saying that hey, hang around, you never know. You know, we got a lot of picks. You don't know what those picks can turn into. You don't know if maybe Jason Tatum could be could be available. That could be an interesting trade. If you can move Tatum for Anthony Davis and keep Kyrie in Boston, that could that could that's a that's a that's an interesting duo right there. Although Danny Ainge is a pretty a pretty shrewd GM. I wouldn't want to trade with him. Look how many teams he's fleeced over the last couple of years or so. Yeah, Patrick Goodwin's in the house. He's saying he's happy that Mark Gasol is with the Raptors. I think that's a very good move, too. I think that's an excellent move. Mark Gasol at the beginning of the season. Remember when the Rap or when the Raptors? Remember when the uh, Grizzlies couldn't lose at home? There's Pau Gasol to 79. Remember when they when they couldn't lose at home and Marc Gasol was playing really well, he was playing excellently, but he just kind of slowed down a little bit because he's just like hey, we're, I'm on a bad team. There's George Hill out of five, first train whistle of the day. George Hill for John, no for Ken. Ken with the Cavs gets the George Hill green. Three out of five, nice. Ken all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Um, going back to Marcus Gasol. Mar Marcus Gasol was putting up numbers. He just slowed down a little bit. He's just like, I don't want to, you know, I'm on a bad team. Uh, I'm not going to injure myself. But now he's on a good team. I think he's going to go off. I think that's the, that's a really good trade for for the Raptors. Makes him pretty interesting. No, Matt Whitaker doesn't like the Gasol move. There's Zach Levine out of 199. There's Retro Series Magic Johnson. Redemption. Let's save one of these Lonnie Walkers as well for the Spurs. That'll go to Ryan. Or, sorry, check that Ray. It's been pretty interesting this season. Lonnie Walker the fourth. Save a Luca. There's a Lime Green Kevin Knox to 149. Zach Collins back there. All right, redemption is bam. Costas onto the compo. Rated rookie signatures blue. The pen. That goes to the Dallas Mavericks. Ken Goldberg with the Mavs. I heard a uh, I heard a Bill Simmons conspiracy theory. I think it was Bill Simmons. Someone on the Ringer Network podcast network. Who is saying that? What if they picked up Costas onto Decumpo and traded away all those guys to try to snag Giannis in free agency in like a couple of years, two or three years or whatever? All right. All right. So what were the other? What were the other big moves? To look at the where, where's my where are my NBA standings here? Let's take a look at the list of teams. So, Bucks picked up Miritich, which I like. Raptors, uh, Raptors got Marcus Saul. Celtics, I don't think the Celtics did anything. They got they got a pretty solid team anyway. Uh, Pacers lost Oladipo. I don't know. The Pacers will be sliding out of that fourth spot pretty soon. I think. Sixers. Got Tobias Harris. They gave up a lot for Tobias Harris. That should be an interesting move right there for the Sixers. Uh, Nets didn't do anything. I like that Nets team. Uh, Hornets. Hornets were going to add Marcus Gasol. I don't think they ended up doing anything, right? Heat in the eighth spot didn't do anything. Pistons have been moving some players around. So have the Wizards. Orlando Magic. That's a good call, Matt. Um, Markel Fultz. To Orlando was interesting. I think that's a good move for Markel Fultz. Kind of a fresh start. 
You know what I mean? Get out of that. Get out of that Philadelphia market. Fresh start. Get get healthy if he's still injured. You know, fix that shot. Let's see what happens there. All right, next one. Oh yeah, well, where did where did Jabari Parker end up? Where did he go? There's DeAndre Jordan to 149. He may be in the uh, in the buyout market. Might be available in the buyout market. Uh, that was Costas onto Decampo, Giannis's bro. So a lot, a lot of interesting things happening, folks. And wow, Lulu. See, it says Lulu. Rookie dominator autograph for Ken Goldberg and the Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic. 21 out of 50. Nice. That is strong. Toby. Oh, Wizards got Parker and Bobby Portis. That's right. There's the SGA. There's Jalen Brunson for the Mavs. Mavs could be an interesting team. Luka Doncic and... Um, there's DeAndre Ayton, rated rookie hollow. Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis next year. Plus, I think, cap space, right? Plus, I don't know what, what else they can do, but I mean, but they, can, they can do a lot of things. They've got some flexibility now in the free agent market. There's Aaron Holiday out of 199, orange. Matt Whitaker has a question, by the way. Does everyone think, uh, do you think that does anyone think that Markel Fultz can revive his career? I think so. What He has time on his... There's Tobias Harris right there. He has time on his side. He's young. You know what I mean? So since he's, a, since he's a young kid, he's got time to get healthy, stay under the radar, work on his shot, you know, and... And then see what he can do for the Magic. I mean, he was a... Was he first overall? Was he a number one pick? Or two? I mean, he, he was a top pick for a reason. I, it's, hard to, it's hard to give up on that. Number one, okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's hard to give up on that. I think he's always going to have... He's always going to have a job. You know what I mean? Someone's always going give to give that number one pick a shot. Unless he just completely melts down... Or just injuries just kill his career. But as long as he's healthy, I think everyone, uh, someone's always going to give him a shot. So Mark, was, Mark N. was saying earlier, Celtics opened up a roster spot. So we're on the trees. They might grab Enos Cantor in the buyout market. The buyout market is going to be extremely interesting, I think. A lot of players on that buyout market. Wes Matthews is interesting. DeAndre Jordan could be interesting. There's some talk that the Lakers might snag DeAndre Jordan. You know, now that they kind of lose Zubac, bring DeAndre Jordan back to LA. That's sort of a the additional middle presence here. Uh, no, Patrick, there's no case hit in this. I think Optic Football has a case hit, right? A RPA, but a Patch Auto. This does not. I think the I think the retail editions of these have patch auto, someone was saying. But not the hobby edition, which we're doing. And we've got Louis Dampier, Hall Dominator autograph for the Spurs. That'll be going to Ray with the Spurs. Oh, Knicks are going to retain a DeAndre Jordan? There's 20 out of 40 on that one, Ray. Interesting. Starberry, there's LeBron. Jalen Brunson, hollow. There's Robert Williams, a third. Out of 199, could be an interesting trade piece in the summer, perhaps. There's Jason Tatum. Is he going to go to New Orleans? 
That's pink velocity for the Celtics. That goes to Ken. There's Stanley Johnson. He's been on the move. There's Avery Bradley. Orange to 199. Clint Capella hollow. Zach Randolph, I think, could be going somewhere. Could be off the bench big man. There's J.J. Redick to 149. I thought Vucevic might have, would have been on the move, but maybe not. Folks, uh, we don't have any more optic basketball in the store, but on jazpyscasebreaks.com, we've got Dominion back in the store. So if you want to try, if you want to do some more hoops, talk some more hoops, I'd be happy to do that. It's an exciting hoops day, so check it out. Good to do, probably good to do a lot of hoops today before the big new release of Panini One tomorrow. So I think a lot of people will be focused on that tomorrow. So let's get all the other stuff done today. Hey. I agree, Matt. Matt Whitaker saying, Joe, I think Kemba would be great at point for my Lakers. Yeah, I think a lot of teams would like Kemba Walker. Do the, do the Lakers have the pieces the Charlotte Hornets want? Are the Hornets willing to give up Kemba? When's Kemba's contract out? Mark N saying, this could go horribly wrong for the Celtics if they trade Tatum for Davis. Then Kyrie could leave. Yeah, that's worst case scenario. Davis then doesn't sign. And then Rozier will be gone, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting situation. This drama, this, this trade drama is kind of interesting. Uh, well, I think it's very interesting, you know, in the NBA. You know, in the NFL, you know, like you're not going to see huge trades anywhere in the NFL. In baseball, both baseball and football have such, you know, they can carry such deep rosters that you're not going to find a big blockbuster trade. You can sign Machado or Harper, but... That's not a game, you know what I mean? You, you still need the, the rest of that 25-man roster in baseball, right? In basketball, the rosters are so small and individuals can make such a big impact that any of these trades could could be game changers for a franchise. Theodore, are we doing any football tonight? If it sells out, yes. So go to jazpyscasebreaks.com, help us sell out a break on the website, and we'll do it if it sells. But that's not up to me if I'm doing any football tonight. It's, it's all up to you and the rest of the crew watching right now. There's Aaron Gordon at 149. And there's the SGA, Shea Gilgis Alexander, rated rookie autograph. A lot of people in LA, Sports Talk Radio, talking about how the Clippers did a pretty good job in the in the trade market. Moving Tobias Harris, which I don't think they would ever ever re-sign for the money he's probably going to get. You know, they, this could be an interesting team. That goes to Ken and the Clippers, last spot, one of his last spot mojo teams. Oh, Kemba's an unrestricted free agent next season. Next season? Wait, this upcoming season or next summer? This summer or next summer? <laughs> Tim Hardaway Jr. to 199. Kobe, Luka Doncic, rated rookie, hollow, which is a nice one. That's almost like a hit in and of itself. And that's for Ken and the Mavs. Autograph and a hollow, Luka, nice. DJ Augustine out of 79. This summer, Kemba Walker is a free, unrestricted free agent. That's interesting. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure what the Lakers are going to do anymore. <laughs> but I would love to have, I, I would love to grab Kemba Walker. There's Giannis to 99. I think that would be great. I, I hope I, I'm, I'm hoping in a sense that that the Lakers not trading for the Lakers not trading for Anthony Davis. I, f I hope that's almost like a blessing in disguise, you know, so they don't gut their entire team. They can retain some youngsters, maybe maybe move one or two players in the summer, try to pick up. Listen, listen, why 
Why go for Kyrie when maybe you can add a Kemba Walker into the into that lineup? Maybe Kawhi comes to LA. You know, there's there's some movement in the free agent market that the Lakers can make and still keep their young players for depth. One of those young players becomes an All Star at least. I mean, that'd be great. So I'm hoping, uh, you know, I'm as a Lakers fan, I'm de desperately hoping that that we dodged a bullet there. Anthony Davis still may come to LA in a year and a half. He's next summer. You don't see Ball being there much? I don't know. I, I think they're going to end up keeping Lonzo Ball. He's a good player. Just has to be healthy. Steph Curry was injured for a lot for early years of his career. Then, then kind of bulked up a little bit, got healthier. You know, Not saying that Lonzo is not, not the shooter that Curry is, but different player but I think I think Lonzo Ball will hang, hang around I mean unless they could obviously use him as a as a trade piece to get a much better player but we'll see what happens there um, the starters on NBA TV are talking about Kings acquiring Harrison Barnes which we discussed uh, the other week, there's Kemba. There's Evan Fournier, Orange One. I like uh, I like Harrison Barnes on the Kings. I think that's a I think that's a great move. There's Luka Doncic, the rookies insert. There's Marcin Gortat to 149, Lime Green. Fun fact, do you know that Barnes is only 26? Is he really only 26? There's Colin Sexton Hollow. I feel like he's been around for so long. But I guess you're I guess you're right. There's Colin Sexton Hollow for Ken and the Cavs. Donovan Mitchell Red to 99. There's Nikola Mirotic to 49. I guess, I guess I didn't realize Harrison Barnes was. Yeah, Harrison Barnes. I, I think the I think the Kings want to keep him too. Want to sign him and keep him for a little while. Their signature series Devontae Graham Hornets. The is asking, did you guys move to a new location? No, we did not. Hornets autograph for John Samuelson. We did move from one studio to another within our existing store, though. All right, next box. So Warriors on top. I think they're going to win the whole thing, obviously. The only They can only beat themselves. Uh, Nuggets are solid. Did the Nuggets make any moves? There's OKC solid. Trailblazers added Rodney Hood, I think. Um, Rockets. Rockets could are, are still strong. Spurs. Let's see how they, how they play. Utah Jazz strong. I feel like the Clippers are going to slip out of that eighth spot. I think it's going to be the Kings. Kings... Sliding into that eight, seven or eight spot, which I think, I, which I think is very interesting. I think they got a really good team, and if the Lakers, Lakers all, you know, Lakers with LeBron is always a threat. I think the Lakers could slip into a playoff spot too if they kind of rally, regroup. I think the All Star break comes at a good time, so they can all get away from it all, <laughs> you know, take a break, come back, regroup, and 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 kind of start over, get a fresh start. The Clippers dropped Marcin Gortat. I think the Mavs are looking ahead to the future. I think they'll be in good shape. Timberwolves, Pelicans, Grizzlies, Suns. I was surprised at how bad the Suns have been this year. I thought they'd be a lot better. I thought DeAndre Ayton uh, and Devin Booker 
Josh Jackson, those guys would all come together. And they had, they had added Ariza over the summer, too. I thought they'd be a lot better than they are, but... What if they get Zion? What if they get the number one pick? Zion and DeAndre Ayton. And Devin Booker in the backcourt. That'd be crazy. There's Landry Shamit, who is here in L.A. now. That still goes to the Sixers. There's Anthony Simons. Gold! That card is gold! Rated rookie auto for the Trailblazers. Ray with that one. There you go, Ray. 10 out of 10. Out of 149, Della Vadova. I think the Clippers contacted J.J. Redick and asked him about Landry Shamit. And what J.J. Redick said was, he's a mini-me, <laughs> but a better shooter. Like, he was like, he's a better shooter than me. There's Aaron Holiday to 199 for the Pacers. There's Hollow Devontae Graham for the Hornets for John. Oh yeah, is that the All Star? Is that are they doing that All Star thing now? Is that on TV? There's Anthony Simons. There's Bogdan Bogdanovich and Torn Prince. All right, four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. So LeBron drafted LeBron, Kyrie, Harden, Durant, Kawhi, AD, Clay, Dame, Westbrook, Towns. Dang. All right, coming up after this, ladies and gentlemen, will be will be some Pantheon baseball. I think we got a few boxes sold out in a row. So once this break is done, we'll go we'll go Pantheon five, six, and seven. And by then, that last break of Pantheon might have sold out. So go and check that out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you want more hoops, uh, Dominion basketball is back. It's in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We have some, we also have a lot of other fun stuff too. So check out the website. We, got, we added some more mixers to the site. Um, we've got some baseball that we can do tomorrow. NT and Flawless are back on the site. We, we, ha we even have some tennis. I'm a big tennis fan, so tennis fans, check that out. And I'm sure we'll keep talking trades and NBA movement all night long. Do I have picks for you tonight? I took Minnesota on the money line, plus 130. Took Indiana. Took the Pacers, minus 265. Took Atlanta, plus the points, plus 8.5. I took Memphis, plus 13.5 at Oklahoma City. It's just a lot of points, so I said, why, why not? Maybe, maybe Mike Connolly and Jaron Jackson Jr. will just go bananas. We'll just go off without Marcus Gasol. There's Kevin Durant, lime green, to 149. I'm regretting that I that I took the Lakers plus eight and a half. I must have been. I don't know what I was doing there. There's De'Aaron Fox, Fox in the box, six out of ten. I feel like that's a mistake. Uh, and I took the Trailblazers on the money line minus 240. Kings, Ken Goldberg with the gold, six out of ten. No, no, no. NBA, this, we're supposed to do this, Matt Whitaker. NBA talk during a, a basketball break. This is perfect. There's Eric Gordon. Oh, Mark, you were going to give me eight. I, I kind of regret taking that. Take, even even with, the, with the hook, I'm kind of regretting taking that. There's John Wall, lime green to 149. We'll see him in like... Two years. 
And your autograph is Jacob Evans III, rated rookie auto for the Warriors. Warriors, come out to play. Matthew Bodner with that one. Omari Spellman, rated rookie hollow. Matt, what do you have? You've got, you have a parlay with Pacers minus four and OKC money line. It's pretty good. There's Mitchell Robinson, rated rookie orange to 199. There's Charles Barkley, retro series to 99. Do you think the Knicks will actually pick up KD and Kyrie? They've opened up all that cap space. It seems like that's what they're trying to do. Mark is saying, my guy gave me a $25 free play after losing the Villanova game. I have point left. <laughs> With that BS at the end of the game, I, I saw that. I think Nick Nick told me about that. That was, it was af, was that the one that was after the buzzer? Like, the opposing team scored after the buzzer? That's pretty brutal. And they just counted it. They're like, eh, no one's going to care. Except for people betting on the game. I think that's what it was. Maybe maybe Mark has more info. I'm pretty sure that was a game where Oh, okay. So they were they were minus 9 and up 9 points. Oh, you have it at minus 7 and a half. And they throw up the last shot clearly after the buzzer and the ref counted it. That's what it was, Matt. The ref counted the shot after the buzzer and you know, they at the end of the game, Villanova's winning. They're just like whatever, we'll just count it. Screw it. And didn't didn't review it or anything like that. So, so yeah, there's a lot. I'm sure a lot of people in Vegas got got screwed over there. I thought they were gonna move Bradley Beal, Jeff Green, orange to 199, green orange. Patrick Beverly, hollow. Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Aaron Gordon, black velocity. Out of 39. There's Kawhi Leonard. Does he stay in Toronto? Maybe. There's Jaron Jackson Jr., the rookies. 30 out of 99. I don't see too many serial number parallels of these the rookies card. That goes to the Grizz. That goes to Ken. Patrick Beverly to 149, Lime Green. Shaq, Retro Series, Hollow. And there's the autograph. There's Joshua Kogie, Hollow for the Timberwolves. Anthony Frank with that. And we've got Kevin Knox, Fort Knox, Knox in the box, rated rookie signatures. Is that out of five? Green? I know the base cards to five are out of five, or base cards greens are out of five. Signatures parallel. Green is out of five. Wow, nice. So that goes to the New York Knicks. Ken Goldberg with the Knicks. What a break for Ken. There you go, Ken. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice, nice case. Next box. All right, so Mark's reporting that the it's the second time this happened this week. 
Same ref and the NCAA issued a statement today. And now they say they'll review all the shots during the tournament. Not sure how it makes a difference. I, I guess just the the illusion of integrity, Mark, is why they're doing it. They're not idiots. They know a lot of people gamble on, on the tournament. Matt, they, they just showed that Buddy healed three-point buzzer beater against the Pistons on this highlight package I'm watching on NBA TV. For the hobby, says ref, ref probably bet a mortgage on it. That'd be kind of scary. I wouldn't do that. You have to you have to count on the game, even being in that situation in the first place. And allowing that shot to happen in the hopes that it'll actually go in. Maybe 500 bucks. Maybe, maybe $100. Donaghy, I think, was the ref. That was... I actually don't remember what exactly he was doing. He was just calling it a certain way, and maybe he had unders or something like that. There's Luka Doncic, the rookies. I don't know what exactly he was betting on. There's Colin Sexton, nice rated rookie autograph for the Cavs. Ken Goldberg, last spot mojo. One of his last spot mojos. Great break for Ken. There's Harrison Barnes to 49 on the Kings now. I think that was a good pickup. There's Melvin Frazier Jr., rated rookie hollow. There's Spencer Dinwiddie to 99. Nets have a pretty interesting team. There's Trey Young, the rookies which is also serial numbered to 99. Alfred Payton. Jamichael Green Orange to 199. Malcolm Brogdon and Poor Zingas. Last box. Good luck, everyone. This was Pick Your Team 10. We don't have any more optic basketball at the moment, but we do have Dominion basketball on the site, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. And keep your eye on the website. You never know when we're going to get this stuff back. Again, I love this stuff, so might get another case sometime. So keep checking the website every day, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So Donaghy was, was calling the games a certain way for the bookies, Matt is saying. And if he won, or if they won, he would get a, profit, a cut of their earnings. I got you. I think it's hard to... I mean, believe it or not, I think it's pretty hard to call a game in a certain way that would that would put you in the position to win from the get-go because it's all situational, you know. But I think you can influence a game total. Point totals, I feel like you can influence a game that way. But for an actual side, to actually help another side win, I think that's a lot. That's very difficult. It must have been point totals. If you, have, if you have two, it's hard for, for a team of refs. You have to get a team of refs to try to influence the game for a side to win. I think it's very difficult, but I'll bet you it was point totals. Was it spreads and totals? Wow, that's bold. Josh Cruz saying spreads and totals. I thought it was just totals. That makes the most sense. If you have two fast teams that score a lot, 
and you call enough fouls to, to slow the tempo down of the game, you would you would get the under on that. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Pantheon coming up. There's Mo Wagner to 199. That's true. I guess in the last two minutes you could affect you could affect the spread. Yeah, games don't get designed to last two minutes anyway. So if it's if the situation is that they're close enough, they can call it a certain way. There's Paul George, Pink Velocity. There's Wes Matthews to 199. He'll be in the buyout market, I'm sure. There's Landry Shamit, Hollow. He's here in L.A. now. Or no, he's on the road. I think he's joining the Clippers in Boston, I think. I don't think he's playing tonight. KG, Trey Young. What a case. Trey Young, rated rookie on-card autograph for Gary Gordon and the Atlanta Hawks. Nice. There you go. There's our final autograph of the break. This was a nice break. Marvin Bagley, the rookie, a lot of great parallels of the top rookies, some train whistles, all sorts of good stuff. So there you have it, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That was Pick Your Team 10 of 18, 19, Panini Donners Optic Basketball. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for breaking with us. We've got the rest of the night to go, so keep going on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.